So, first thing on this. Again, guys, don't get confused with the cosine how it's written. Y equals cosine of x squared cubed is really what we're dealing with, right? Now, you guys can kind of see, or maybe you don't, but what's really happening here is we have a chain rule inside chain rule, okay? So what we want to do is think of the, and now, now we're getting into the grandparent situation, right? So what we want to do though is again, still look in the grand scheme of things, what is the largest parent that we can deal with at first? And the largest parent that we should deal with at first is going to be x cubed, right? So let's focus on that real quick. So let's go with d over dx of x cubed, which we know is 3x squared, right? Then let's do the inner child, which is going to be d over dx of cosine of x squared, which we know there we have to do chain rule again, right? But let's just go ahead and um, let's go ahead and figure that out as well. So if we're going to do chain rule, we have to take the derivative of cosine, which we know is negative, right? It has to be negative, negative sine, and then we have to plug in the child, which is x squared, and then multiply that by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And really, we'd want to write this like this. OK, so parent, child, right? So again, taking the derivative. We take the derivative of the parent. So let's do dy over dx. Derivative of this, 3 times squared. And then we plug in the child function, which is cosine of x squared. Right? And then we multiply it by the derivative of the child function, which is negative 2x sine of x squared. Now, dy over dx, let's put the numbers out in front. So therefore, we would have a uh, negative 6x. negative 6x times um, times cosine of x squared squared times sine of x squared. And that we want to write it. Make sense? Kind of? A little bit? Más o menos? So just be careful when you guys are doing your work. You might be seeing 